Hi guys, this is Van. Well, uh, uh, unless you had your head in a hole, you realize that there were widespread national anthem protests in the National Football League this past weekend. President Trump uh, came out when addressing the crowd down in Alabama, called anyone that would kneel for the national anthem a son of a bitch, and mentioned that they should be fired for their national anthem protests. Uh, the National Football League players, and even some owners, did not take too kindly to that, and before nearly every game, actually every game, there were protests, some players knelt, some players chose to do a half measure and just lock arms. But whatever you thought about it, everyone made a statement. NASCAR made a statement, actually a couple of NASCAR owners did, early this morning when they came out and said that anybody that tried that same thing in their sport would be swiftly fired. Two guys in particular did this, Richard Petty, one of the greatest NASCAR drivers of all time, a guy who owns a NASCAR team right now, said that anybody that don't stand up for that ought to be out of the country, period. Team owner Richard Childress actually went further. He said any of his staffers that protest at the anthem could get you a ride on a Greyhound bus when that national anthem is over, intimating that those people would be out of a job. So one guy who made it clear that he's not a part of that, Dale Earnhardt Jr., if you don't know that much about NASCAR, uh, Dale Earnhardt Jr. is one of the most famous, one of the most popular drivers of the last 10 years. He took to Twitter and said, all Americans are granted rights to peaceful protests. Those who make peaceful revolution impossible will make violent revolution inevitable. Thus saying that the best way that we can kind of get these issues out uh, is to do them peacefully and to do them on stages where people can see. I've said this before. First Amendment works two ways. If I want to say something, I have to be okay um, and ready for companies that don't want to work with me anymore using their First Amendment rights to sever ties with me. It does not mean that I believe that suppressing people's opinions and suppressing people's rights and their beliefs is the right thing to do. What I'm saying is, what it takes to do any of these things, what we saw by some people that were kneeling, what I saw about some people who didn't kneel, is bravery. It takes bravery to stand upon your convictions um, and sort of put them out there, not knowing what you're gonna get back.